And they're coming thick and fast today, folks. We're back at the start again. Five minutes stream racing means very little time for breath. We're at the start of the Princess Royal Challenge Cup, the women's single school. Marta Olechko from Poland, top of your screen, the yellow boat versus Sinead Turnfrick in the white boat on the right hand side of your screen. And off the start, they blast. That is a rapid start from Sinead Turner Frick of Nottingham University, going really up against the Olympic silver medalist from the women's court in Tokyo 2020. And I just think some of these races you get in the single skull is an opportunity for university students or some of the next level of talent to go up against Olympic champions, Olympic medalists. You don't get any other opportunity like that in sport, and she is having a brilliant crack at it. This is what makes our event different. This is a chance for exactly that, university level students to go up against Olympic medalists. And you're here on the same starting line. And it's very rare to have that. And she is staying in contact. What a start here from Sinead Turnerfrick. She's staying in contact with this Olympic medalist from Poland, Marta Oleczko. She won a silver in Tokyo. She raced the last World Cup. She's race ready. She's probably going off to the World Championships in a couple of months time. Um, and a, a great fight here from this Nottingham student. Yeah, we're starting to see this race unfold, I think, with the with the script and the narrative that we would probably expect. The Olympic silver medal is going out and beating the university student, but when you're in the position that Sinead Turner Frick was in, you have to go out and race her hard. You've got to have her. See if you can beat her to the end of the island. See if you, how, just how long you can hold on for. But out in front at the moment, you can just see the, the class that's on display here from the Polish scholar out in front in what is her second time at Henley Royal Regatta, her first time back since 2016 when she came and reached the final with her women's court back in 2016. Um, what differentiates these athletes, Fergus? I mean, we're looking at kind of two rowers here. What makes one a lot faster than the other? When we look at singles, it's, it's the rawest you can get. It's by yourself. You haven't got a cock. You haven't got crewmates around you. What's the difference to these single scholars? Well, I think particularly at this moment, as we're getting live shots now, is just the age gap between these two scholars. First of all, we've got nearly uh, 28 for the Polish scholar against 19 years of age, just 19 years of age racing an Olympian. What an experience that is. But for Sinead at Nottingham University, she's balancing her studies along with effectively as much training as she, she can possibly get in under the stewardship of Aid Roberts, who took over at the beginning of this season. And he's had an electric um, touch to, to Nottingham University. They're starting to go from success to se success this season. But compare and contrast that to the position of training full time as an Olympian and getting to recover properly, train properly and get access to, to high performance training all year round. What a difference that makes. If you're not a row, I'd probably liken this as like the FA Cup. You've got somebody here from one of the lower leagues having a go, having a go at somebody in the Premiership. Okay, and that's what we're looking at. And it's your your lower league team coming out and absolutely pressing hard, putting up their best. But the class here, Marta Olechko, is really shining through. This is endurance sport. It's a long way to row. You're rowing against the stream here at Henley. It's going to be about a eight-minute race almost in single skulls. So you've got to bide your time and, and actually it's an endurance sport in terms of career 19 versus 28 it's only going to be on the up isn't it here for Sinead and we're, we're excited to see this young scholar here taking part in the Princess Royal Challenge Cup yeah we certainly are and for Marta Velichko it's a big year this year it's all about qualifying for the Olympic Games which is coming up in Paris next year of course and the World Championships is where they'll do that so what we're seeing is a number of these athletes coming to Henley Royal, using it as an opportunity to get as much racing under their belts as they possibly can in quite a condensed period of time because they've got the third World Cup taking place in Lucerne next weekend. And, and then that's pretty much it. There's not much more racing that they'll be able to do between then and the World Championships. So to get to come and do back-to-back -back days of racing at Henley can pay dividends for them later on in the season. And we absolutely love seeing these international rowers here. Polska on the back there of Marta Wilichko. The red and the white of Poland. We've seen a few Polish crews here this week. We absolutely welcome international crews to come and give this opportunity to, to everyone. And we want to see them you know, fighting out in the later rounds. So we're very excited to have this quality here. As you come through the enclosure, a big, a big round of applause here, Fergus. Yes, yeah, certainly. The, the crowds and stewards enclosure love to see these, these Olympians, these world medalists coming through and, and gracing the Henley waters. It's a real privilege, as you said, to, to have them. But also showing a huge amount of respect for, for the, the scholar they're going up against. We can see that at the back of Sinead Turner-Frick at the moment. This isn't the first time she's raced. It's the first time in the, in the 
in the Princess Royal Challenge Cup, but she has qualified previously in the Diamond Jubilee, once when she was 15 and uh, once when she was 18 years old. But she got injured earlier this year, causing her to have to move into the single, not able to participate with her crewmates uh, in the eights or in the quarters of the fours. But to finish a season racing an Olympian, it's, it's pretty good. I'm not sure I can get down that course in my single skills, so absolutely fair play to Sinead here. What a good performance. She took it out from the start. As we see crossing the finish line there, Marto Oleshko has a little hold of, puts her oars into the water to slow her boat down and wait for her fellow competitor to congratulate and applaud. They all know what each other's been through to get to this point. It's not easy. And a win there for Oleshko of Poland in the Princess Royal Challenge Cup for Sinead Turnfrick. Team University.